Hey guys, welcome back to my playthrough. So we're about to head off to Nashada. Unfortunately, in my infinite wisdom, I um, forgot to do the microphone on the recording. So the first, you know, almost seven hours of gameplay, which I thought I'd only be, be the only parts that I'd be recording uh, after the fact, it was wrong. I'm going to have to record this as well. So that's okay. Not uh, not overly bad. Just means I've got you know 45 minutes of of play here. So, but now let's go to Narshada. So, the only problem is that I thought I was doing commentary here as well. So, that's right. Now we're going to Narshada. So you can see Voss is at level. We're going to go through the planets here, I think. So you can see Voss is at 40 to 47. Okay. So these are the levels that you should be at when you go to these planets. So, we're at uh, where we want to go to is um, Narshada. You can also see that the different little regions also have, like we're in hut space, but hut sp Republic space, in hut space, neutral space, contested space, and public space. So all the regions get uh, different little names. But we're going to go to Narshada, which is, you know, level 20 to 24. Level 22, so I'm well on my way. Okay, so we're General, I've arrived on Narshada. Still no word from Agent Galen? Negative. After terrorists and Orton Antel, I fear the worst. I'll warn you now. The project there is... I should have ended it years ago. Conversations like this never end well. After the Empire's victory on Coruscant during the war, people were terrified. We looked weak, helpless. The Senate authorized research into science we have no business exploring, using technology to turn ordinary men into living weapons. Power Guard program was creating the ultimate soldier, one tough enough to fight a Sith head on. I was expecting something that could threaten a whole planet. Think how much damage a lone Jedi can do. Now multiply that by thousands or millions. Nar Shada has the latest advances in cybernetics, combat adrenals, personal armor, and weapons. Everything we need to create the Power Guards. There's also a distinct lack of government oversight. You're in hot territory, neutral space. Laws are practically non-existent. The fewer rules I have to deal with, the better. That's what we thought when we started this mess. I placed a single operative in charge of the Power Guard project. Gave him unlimited authority and enough credits to fund the program. The research facility operates in absolute secrecy. I don't even know where it is. You should have spent less time worrying about your blasted reputation. I told myself I was protecting the Republic. Regardless, Darth Angler learned our operative's name and contact data from the files stolen on Coruscant. Our operative has disappeared, and Agent Galen vanished trying to find him. I can only assume they're dead or captured. I'll hunt down Angler's people. They won't live to regret this. Your top priority is shutting down the Power Guard project. I need you to coordinate with the Strategic Information Service branch on Nar Shaddaa. Bureau Chief's name is Raikin. SIS headquarters is hidden on the promenade. You'll visit a merchant shop and use a secret turbo lift in the back to meet with Raikin. With Agent Galen missing, how can you guarantee that headquarters is safe? The promenade is a secure zone under constant patrol. The huts don't tolerate violence there. Transmitting the location coordinates and turbo lift security code to you. Good luck. Marasutra, out. Only people would keep better track of their secret weapons installations. Oh, 23. Yay! So now we've got our purple mission. We've got to go to the SIS safe house and search for Agent Galen. So it's still going on with our cruise skills. With time skills. to spare. Arms ticket 160, 160, 180, 160, I think. I don't know, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I'm getting old. So, that um, armoring there is actually to go into some gear. Now, unfortunately, all the green gear I've got doesn't have uh, slots for it, but so it's like orange and purple gear that you can put um, mods and armoring in. And, enhancements into so we'll uh, 
We've only got the lightsaber at the moment, and that doesn't take armor in it. And so we're going down to Narshada now, we'll see you on planet. And here we are in sunny downtown Narshada. Actually, not so much sunny, or very glim and gloomy. Feels very grimy as well. If I could think of another G word to describe it, I would be doing that as well. Feels very much like um, when in Attack of the Clones, where you've uh, where they go into the underworld there. Also, you'll see every now and then up the top you get that bit where no guild controls this sector or there's some somebody controls this sector. It's about, um, there's a thing called conquest where you can get certain rewards out of it. I don't do it because you need to be in a guild to do it. So that's definitely not me. My skies, a Jedi. Please help us. Innocent people are being slaughtered in the streets. I minister planet with the Republic's diplomatic corps. I was almost killed out there. The Kintan King's gang controls this part of Nar Sada. They're violent and well-armed Nyctos who hate the Republic. The gang attacked me right out on the street in full view of everyone. My bodyguards were dead before I knew what was happening. What does this have to do with me? You're a Jedi. This is a Republic emergency. The murders aren't the worst of it. My bodyguards all carry Republic passcodes, and now the gangsters have them. With those passcodes, the Kintan King can slip right through our security. We'll be defenseless. I have more important concerns. But you're a Jedi. If you can't help us, who can? Whatever the Kintan Kings do with the passcodes, it's sure to hurt all of us. We desperately need them back. When you put it that way, how can I refuse? I'm a good enough diplomat not to argue with your change of heart. Recovering our security passcodes from those filthy criminals will save countless innocent lives, including mine. The Kintan Kings who shot my bodyguards are still outside the spaceport. They have the passcodes, I'm sure of it. Okay, so this is the start to the Narshada um, planetary quests. So, uh, yeah, we've got to go and retrieve some passcodes. Do they do enough to kill people? I'm good at killing people. I like killing people. Not in real life. I'm starting to sound like a bit of a uh, a sociopath when I start talking about things like that. And killing things and kill all the things. I assure you, I no interest in killing anyone other than in games. So let's have a look at where we are with our legacy. So we need, oh, another 93 to, uh, to get, uh, I'll get the word soon, to get HK, so we're 1,000, and we've got enough that I can now deploy three people for my crew skill, which is good. Get things done a bit quicker. Not that I'm particularly collecting achievements, so I don't go out of my way to get them, but uh, if they're there, I'll take them. Side of his uh, detection range. Already dead. Just lie down. 
you tell me, Mage Kelly. Two more. Nice. So now just finish off the and we shall be all oh, good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Hate it when it does that. So you can tell different things by the lights that come out too. So blue just means crappy stuff. Green means equipment, um, yellow means mission items, and there's a different shade of blue as well that um, indicates a different sort of item too. And you did. So you can see that's just that light blue colour. Now we'll go and report to the Ambassador. Did we leave an Ambassador on the Ethel? Pretty sure we did. Ethelus. Sorry, I want to call it the Ethel, but the game calls it Ethelus. Ethelus it makes more sense to me, to be honest, but... That's all good. Now we'll go and find a taxi. So in this game as well, we also get, um, you've got your companions, and you have influence with them, and the higher the influence, the more damage they do, the better healing they do, um, and also the better, um, you know, the better they craft things and the quicker they do Statement. through skills. I will end this in my so, HK got 45 influence points from that, so that's good. But we want more. But yeah, basically, the, the better their inf better influence you have with the companion, the uh, the quicker they will complete activities. How do I trust me to do something? Which helps in the long run as well. It used to be that companions would give bonuses to specific uh, um, have a seat and pleasant specific. Stand crew skills, but they did away with that, and now it's just a generic, um, you know, better critical rating, so that you might return more on your crafting or on your, on your crew skill mission, um, and also the time bonus as well. The time bonus is a handy one. Alright, so... Let's go. I can't remember what I did first here, whether I went to the, uh, I think I went to the Ambassador first rather than the SIS safe house. see as well at the moment my experience bar is green that's because I'm in what's called a rested state a rested state gives you bonus XP as well I think it's two times bonus XP and you get the rested state by logging off on your ship or in your in um, like an arrest zone so that's also somewhere like uh, um, a cantina 
which is why if you're playing it through and you're keen to get the, the two times bonus, unlocking the um, the I'll get the word soon, the quick travel point in a cantina is really handy because then when you're ready to log off, you just quick travel back to the cantina and log off in there. This is a disaster, Burridge. How can I deal with enemies who don't negotiate? Isn't Hatiz the mother tongue of criminals across the galaxy? Minister Planet sent word you were bringing our security passcodes. The Republic is in your debt. I'm Ambassador Averdon. This is Barish Fanak Toril, one of the system's most prominent business leaders. Welcome. What a lovely couple. The wedding should be spectacular. Please, this is no time for levity. Circumstances are dire. My mission is to establish strong Republic ties on Nar Shaddaa. We need its technological assets to defend ourselves against the Empire. Nar Shaddaa's leaders sold us an entire sector to use as our base of operations. Unfortunately, it's overrun with Kintan King gangsters. Nar Shaddaa isn't known for its law-abiding citizens. No offense, Hut. The Kintan Kings want us out of their territory, and they're winning. A Jedi who was helping us was found butchered in the open street. Those gangsters did horrible things to him. Just what we needed. More trouble. It is an inconceivable tragedy that such a strong young Jedi could die so easily. Morgukai are an Ikto cult. The Jedi hunters trained to resist the Force. I'm always happy to work on my lightsaber techniques. I believe I can accommodate you. The gangster's attack on Minister Plenin was a diversion. Their true goal was hijacking a Republic military freighter carrying cybernetic combat implants. You don't need Kinton Kings with enhanced speed and strength. When you have the implants, take them to an arms merchant named Nurkulus. He secretly works for Barish. Yeah, Hut being good, it makes me slightly suspicious. So I got another implant. The chair is replacing the right one. Just right clicking on it sometimes doesn't uh, replace the one you want it to replace. So that's alright. You can manually do it easy enough. I'll get right on it. Alright, so off to the SIS safe house. In a minute. Come on. You can do it. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh, I love that jetpack. It's a lot easier to use than a lot of, because it, it's classed as a mount, so it moves at the, uh, whatever speed of piloting one you've got. But, um, the, uh, it just makes you small because a lot of the stuff, a lot of the speeders and mounts that you've got around are huge. They are, uh, yeah, and they keep you going for, like they huge, take up a lot of area, whereas a jetpack just attaches to your back and keeps you nice and small. So we're going to head into this phase very shortly. So the phases again mean that nobody can enter but you. Um, well, you will only see you. You can have multiple Jedi Knights entering at one time but uh, you'll only see yourself in there. Yeah, 
sneaky shop. Feels like there, sh there should be a uh, bad guy in here waiting for me. <laughs> the second field agent who's missed a check-in. Our network's under attack. We don't know that. We know Agent Galen was captured. He's telling the enemy where to hit us. If it makes you feel better, transmit alert level Omega to all field agents. See how many respond. The Jedi who eliminated Watcher One. Glad to meet you. I'm Bureau Chief Riken. Wish I had better news to report. We're fumbling in the dark right now. Blind spies aren't much good to me. In my job, you can't always trust what you see. Here's what little I know. Agent Galen came here to secure a top-secret operation. Something hidden, even from us. Galen disappeared in the Nikto sector while pursuing a contact. Fortunately, he left a trail we can follow. You know Narshada better than me. Release your hounds. I tried that. Didn't work out. Galen left coded progress reports at SIS dead drops all over the Nikto sector. Unfortunately, that whole area's gone hostile. Had to pull my agents out. You want those reports? You'll have to go in alone. I sent the Omega alert. Only half our field agents responded. I'm telling you we're compromised. We need to move this headquarters before it's too late. My mission is more important than your safety. Stay where I can find you. This is insane. We're sitting targets. Evacuating this facility is out of the question. We're safe here, and we have a mission to complete. I've marked the locations of Agent Galen's dead drops. Download his messages to your holo and contact me. I'll decode them. Let's get some answers. Good luck. Jesus Christ, that guy looks freaky. 